um, how can we change this so this never happens again? So these types of threats and these ty this type of information gets to the right people. We did communicate that information in a timely fashion to uh, the Capitol Police and MPD in not one, not two, but three different ways. But do you think uh, it's enough just to send an email? Well, it's more than just an email, right? So first off, the email itself went to, uh, I think there are maybe as many as five Capitol Police Task Force officers on the Joint Terrorism Task Force, and the whole point of the Joint Terrorism Task Force is for the chosen representatives of the partner agency to be there in the loop real time so that everybody's got the same information so that each agency can use that information to do what it needs to do. How much of the January 6th failure was the handoff from the FBI to Capitol Police? Well, Senator, as I said, when it comes to the handoff, uh, a lot of the attention has really been about this Norfolk uh, SIR, which I think I've, I've talked about it at some length, where we provided the information to our partners in three different ways. And as it was, the information was raw, uncorroborated information at the time, certainly. Um, has there so far been any evidence that the January 6th riot here, the insurrection, was organized by people simply posing as supporters of President Trump's? We have not seen any evidence of that, uh, certainly at this Is there point. any evidence at all that it was organized or planned or carried out by groups like Antifa or Black Lives Matter? We have not seen any evidence to that effect.